In this video, you'll see how you can query Amazon Location Service using Amazon Aurora Postgres. With this AWS Lambda-based solution, you can use Amazon Location Service to geocode coordinates and addresses stored in database tables and enrich them with geospatial context. Aurora is a relational database and part of the Amazon Relational Database Service, or Amazon RDS. To get started, let's go to the RDS console and create a new Aurora Postgres cluster. We'll use the Easy Create method. We'll choose the Postgres Compatible Edition and retain the default configurations. It takes about 10 minutes for the database to become available in our Virtual Private Cloud, or VPC. During database creation, a master password is generated. Let's copy it so we can use it later. Let's also copy the database endpoint so we can connect to it when we're ready. Now that the database is available, we need to deploy an AWS Lambda function that calls Amazon Location Service, associated IAM permissions, and a VPC endpoint to allow Aurora to connect to Lambda. The Amazon Location Service Developer Guide provides a CloudFormation stack we can launch to save us some steps. This stack uses Esri as the data provider. We'll change the region to US West 2, which is where we established our RDS cluster. Here we'll supply the name of our cluster. We'll also select our VPC and the appropriate subnets. Let's configure our stack to use the default security group for the VPC endpoint. Finally, we'll acknowledge the warning and create the stack. Let's view the stack resources. In addition to the VPC endpoint and two Lambda functions, the stack includes an Amazon location place index. Let's look at the outputs. This CLI command adds Lambda user-defined function, or UDF, support to our Aurora cluster and assigns it to use the role that was created. Let's copy the command and run it from AWS Cloud Shell. Let's return to the RDS console and quickly confirm that the Amazon Identity and Access Management, or IAM, role for Lambda role is active. The role is active, so now we can connect the Aurora instance to Lambda. To do so, we'll first connect to an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or Amazon EC2 instance, in the same VPC as the RDS instance. We are now within the Aurora Postgres database. Next, we'll register two Lambda user-defined functions in the database. Search place index for text and search place index for position. We can now query Amazon Location Service. Let's start by querying the search place index for text. We'll look for the text Vancouver, BC. We can see a single result for this search. Let's try another search and look for Mount Pleasant. We'll restrict the search to Canada and set a five result limit. This search produced five results. We can also constrain searches to a location boundary. Let's define British Columbia and part of Alberta as the boundary for another search of Mount Pleasant in Canada with a maximum of five results. As you can see, these five results differ from those of the previous search. Now let's query the search place index for position. We'll use a point position for Chrissy Field in San Francisco, California. As you can see, one result matches the point location input. You've just seen how you can query Amazon Location Service from Amazon Aurora Postgres. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.